Hello, Space Coast. Welcome to the News in 90 Seconds for Thursday, May 26th. I'm Rob Landers bringing you some of today's top local stories. A fire broke out Thursday morning in the funnel area of the Carnival Freedom cruise ship while it was docked in Grand Turk. The Port Canaveral based Carnival Freedom was carrying about 2,500 passengers and a crew of about 1,100, according to Matt Lupoli, Senior Manager of Public Relations at Carnival Cruise Line. No injuries were reported. Check out all the details in Finch Walker and Dave Berman's story on FloridaToday.com. After four years of behind-the-scenes planning, the Margaritaville Landing and Riverwalk development team has secured unanimous site plan support from the Melbourne City Council. Mayor Paul Alfrey labeled the roughly $75 million Margaritaville project a game-changer during about 90 minutes of discussion Tuesday. Check out all the details on the project in Rick Neal's story on FloridaToday.com. A Palm Bay man was stabbed to death by his son in his home early Wednesday morning, police said. Robert Luco, 64, was found stabbed inside his home on Easton Forest Circle, southeast in Palm Bay, just before 4 a.m. Wednesday, said Commander Jeff Spears of the Palm Bay Police Department. First responders attempted to provide life-saving measures, but he was pronounced dead at the scene. Luco's wife told police that their son, Robert Luco Jr., 29, had stabbed the 64-year-old during an argument, according to an arrest affidavit. Finch Walker has all the details in our story on FloridaToday.com. Not yet a subscriber? Unlock unlimited digital access to your best source for news and information on the Space Coast. Visit FloridaToday.com slash subscribe. And that's 90 seconds. Thanks for watching.